Let's see here. I gotta do a double check real quick. My phone will let me. Why is my phone being slow? It's being slow. Come on. It should not be this slow. It is. Yeah, it's day 256. Look at that. There we go. <sighs> well, alrighty. Better time than any. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator. Welcome to Thursday, favorite day of the week. It is Thursday, September 12th, 2024. And it is day 256. And now for something completely different. I'm keeping, an, I'm keeping track of all that right now. And for good reason. Because tomorrow is Friday the 13th. But that's not why it's significant, really. Tomorrow is Buttercup's birthday, so I'm making sure we're absolutely ready for it. So here, here pretty soon I gotta get over to the store and get some um, some gift wrap paper. Make sure all that's good to go. I'm getting some levels of concern because uh, yesterday Tessa was saying that she was having some trouble with uh, the encoder on OBS having trouble, but right now I should not be having this kind of trouble with my headset, but I am. So I'm gonna have to do some checks with my CPU and my GPU to make sure there's nothing wrong. But right now, like, my headset cannot keep up with me turning my head even slowly. So I see um, black borders just constantly jumping, you know, back and forth on the headset right now. Which means the refresh isn't working properly. Why is the refresh not working? I don't know. <sighs> Let me take a quick look here. <sighs> no, do 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 um, to do, 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 uh, 26 40 field of views 100%. Let's see, to do, do, do overall world scales off. Um, no, I'm not doing any override. Huh. I'll have to do more checks later. Anyway, sorry. You got to, at least you got to see some aquarium fish. We're in an aquarium world. In fact, the world we're in. Let me turn the camera off for you. There. Apparently, there's a bar over there and a whale skeleton. There's some dolphins. Some uh, very small manta ray up there. And I'm pretty sure that's a humpback whale. But the world we're in is literally called Aquarium and Chill by Nina88. Description is all in Japanese. That helps our predicament. Not really. So there's an area down here you've got a bar. Oh, an axolotl. Lily would be happy with this. She loves axolotls. A whale. Is that supposed to be a. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a whale. And kind of an 8-bit thing of their model, I'm guessing. Let's see, got another one right there that has a wreath on its head. Oh yeah, I turned colliders off for right now. Yeah, a lot of these. Does that fridge work? No. And you cannot grab the wine because that is not for me. Hello. Let's see what kind of wine you got here anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh-huh. I guess it was the 2018 wine of the year. Let's see. Violet Perfume Herba? Huh. bottle on this one is oh, further away it almost looked like it was a uh, different that's kind of weird you turn your head and the shader follows you maybe that's what's getting so screwy with this world wait what oh it's just a light there is an upstairs area let's take a quick look i don't know if you can go in this door oh ah i'm in a bedroom why is there a projector in the... Oh, there's no signal here. I like the jellyfish, though. Okay, I don't want to be in the bedroom. Uh... 
let's see. Hang on. Ha, <laughs> you can! That is awesome! You can do hand puppets, somehow, with this projector. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So I guess you can look at Shadow Self. Hello! Anyway, let's, um... Kind of get the camera back here. Oh, that's interesting. Uh. Okay. Hang on. Okay, well. That's uh, particularly interesting, I suppose. Actually, it is interesting. But I want to get out of here. It's dizzying. It kind of hurts my eyes at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. That's better. There's an upstairs area, too. What's up here? Oh, yeah, there's a mirror over there, and there's a pool table back here. Not a good spot for a pool table, though, because in reality, you'd just be clacking against the wall trying to play. Okay, let's uh, take a look up stairs. And yes, you can turn off post-processing. There's another video screen up here. There are chips and a giant, a giant tablet. It does not turn on, and there's no... I would like physics on this gigantic tablet, though. Could you imagine having a tablet, like a home Android tablet, that... Oh, okay, how about a Samsung Galaxy Tab of this size? That would be pretty cool. That would be cool to have a Galaxy Tab that size. Are there physics on this? There are physics on this but can you sit on it no I don't think you can uh, no I don't see one on there it jiggles though look at that jiggle it wow that moves fast okay that thing had some real whip hey there's another one two more there's a little one little itty bitty one Speaking, of, oh, by the way, that cat that keeps trying to get into, why do they have these little things everywhere? I don't understand why these are everywhere and that there are no physics to them. Anyway, um, what I was getting, what I was getting at is that black cat does still keep trying to get into our house and has been getting in, so I'm getting concerned that's going to get us in trouble at some point hopefully not but the cat has been coming in starts getting into our food and then when he's done he just leaves it's kind of weird could you leave <laughs> me alone and let me do my job sorry about that i'm I'm trying to pick it back up. Could you leave me alone and let me do my job? No, because you are... I hate heights. Oh, well... Ah, thank you. There's no thanking me. These things are kind of weird, you know? Oh, it didn't say bonk, whatever. But anyway, yeah, I'm still... Gonna have to find a way to deal with that cat for certain. That is definitely for certain. I'm going to have to deal with that cat at some point. Ah, better, slightly better light. I wonder if maybe it's the aquarium. Maybe there are just too many particles here. I don't know. Uh, there, it seems like even with having a relatively decent computer, that uh, there are fewer and fewer places I can go to in VR or just regular games in general. I don't know. Uh, it's probably just me. It's probably something I messed up. Go figure. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready for that where... Thanks, phone! Um, let's see. So, we're not doing we're not doing the trampoline park tomorrow on Buttercup's birthday. We're doing it on Saturday on Sweet Pea's birthday. So, the birthday party for everyone is going to be on Saturday. She's bringing one friend, apparently, which uh, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, I, ha I have some reservations about it and part of that is um somewhat personal involving buttercup which i don't need to discuss here at all 
but um, at least I'll get to understand exactly how she behaves with her friends. But I do need to figure out and have a mature, calm conversation with her friend's mother because Lilia tries to contact and communicate with 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 Buttercup's friend's mother in order to communicate things they want to be doing, but she refuses to communicate with us, and I don't have any answers for why. So hopefully on Saturday, maybe I can get some answers if I can calmly talk to them if she's there. We'll see. But I just want to make sure my daughter has fun on Saturday. She needs to have... She, I want her to have fun. It's just a trampoline place. I'll, I'll do my part and make sure Sweet Pea doesn't get just completely mauled by other running kids. I don't expect that, but I do I, I do expect that Sweet Pea's going to do a lot more running around than she did last year. Last year, though, they went to a place called LOL, which is kind of like a better Chuck E. Cheese, or it used to be. Where it did have, you know, the play place for kids, slides, a lot of arcade games, but it also had a roller rink in there. So I'd say it was like a better Chuck E. Cheese. Used to be. And the reason for that is it's completely run into the ground, so Buttercup just doesn't want to go there anymore. Last year was absolutely awful. Like, two-thirds of all other arcade games just didn't work, were turned off, and always broke down. And my favorite thing to do at a place like that is play ski ball. I love ski ball. And, um, yeah, they were all, like, uh, I want to say two-thirds of them, again, were turned off. And then the other two that were still available kept breaking, so it was not fun at all. You could like, you couldn't, you know, win tickets efficiently there at all because all their games were just busted, so... I don't even know if people go there anymore because of how much it's run into the ground. And again, I've said it before, we'll say it again. The real important thing when you run a place like that is you have to maintain your equipment. You need to hire people. Oh dear. My tracking really is having, tr like all of, like how many other things do I need to have problems with right now? <sighs> Let me uh, try to recalibrate here. Hang on. Absolutely everything is having problems right now. Like, my tracking keeps going all over the place right now. My vision can't keep up with myself. Everything's wobbly. It's a nightmare. But anyway, as I was saying, places like that, they need to hire people who can maintain the equipment on the fly. You need people who learn basic maintenance for your day-to-day -day function, and then you have other maintenance people work for when things really break down. But if you don't have anyone working there that can work on a darn thing, you're gonna go out of business. And frankly, that's what it seems like is gonna happen, is they're gonna go out of business because they don't hire anyone to fix their stuff, or to even maintain it. Like, and the other part is there, they're just... Ugh, it's, it's frustrating because people who manage businesses out here are in this pattern of as cheap as possible with none of the responsibility of maintaining equipment. So I, I just see too many places where things get run down because they refuse to, to repair it. I had the same problem when I worked at Goodyear. At the Goodyear factory, my forklift was like, if OSHA saw that forklift, they to shut they, they they would have fined the entire company and I, I tried to get them to repair it over and over and over until I got injured. <sighs> it's there are too many places where they want to cut corners and when people speak up, that's when they get upset at the person who spoke up about there being a problem with equipment. About, you know, the need of maintenance and something needs repair. They get upset at the person like, hey, this thing's broken. And it, it, it is a huge problem. And from what I can tell, it's growing all over the place where they they just don't want to deal with it. So when it finally blows up in their face, they just cut their losses. You could have saved yourself a whole lot more money if you just hired people and maintained your equipment. You know, hire people who can maintain the equipment or at least, you know, take something in for maintenance when it's needed. That kind of stuff. You'd save a lot more money that way because repairing a forklift is a heck of a lot cheaper than replacing one. 
knowing how to repair a skee-ball machine is a lot cheaper than buying another skee-ball machine, because those arcade-grade skee-ball machines are... They're over $2,000. A pinball machine is minimum $6,000. And if you don't maintain a pinball machine, which is really just a little bit of what you know well a lo okay no not a little bit there's a lot of wiring in there now they have a lot of motherboards you worry about but it, it's it's you know minor software and hardware maintenance if you if you learn the manuals for those and learn how to maintain them it's a heck of a lot cheaper than paying out another six to six to nine thousand dollars some even twelve thousand depending on the model of pinball machine you leave me pinball? I'd love to have a pinball machine, but oh my goodness, those are expensive. And it's like a, it's like the cheapest ones are of the genre. I don't I don't want like licensed themes. I I don't like the Adams family. I know someone's gonna look at me like, what is wrong with you? I don't like the Adams family. I, I, I kinda like Star Wars. I kinda like Star Trek. I don't want it in a pinball machine. I just want a pinball machine that doesn't have licensed themes in it. I mean, heck. What was it like? I just like, not overly simple, but I like simple pin. Give me one, like, I just don't want licensed movie stuff, you know? But those are those are typically the cheapest ones you can get. Unless, of course, people are like, I want Adam's family. That one's... Whoops. There's number 13. <sighs> I'm mad at myself now. But the Adam's family one is... I don't know why. So many people want that pinball machine. Like, I don't want that. Of course, I can't afford any of these anyway. But my point stands. If you operate a place of business where you want your equipment working... Learn to maintain it so you don't have to pay for a whole, whole other unit or just shut your business down. And that's what happens here. A lot. Of course, like I said, it's happening in more and more locations. Because people are lazy. They want the they, they want easy. How about that? Okay, well. So, look at that. They're going to go to the trampoline place. And I swear if their trampolines are inoperable, I freaking swear. Well, that's enough rambling for me. I've got to go find out if this cat got in the house at any time. Plus, it's at the time of recording, it's 3.39 p.m. I know, I know, I recorded early, but editing is going to take later because I need to hurry up and finish this and see if I have to go out the door now or, you know, soon to take care of getting the gift wrap and a little extra food for the weekend and everything like that. So I will get going. I hope everyone's enjoying their Thursday. Enjoy the rest of it. Of course, it is still September 12, 2024, and it is indeed day 256. Hope everyone's relaxed and enjoying themselves. This is Terraquator, and we will see you all tomorrow. See you around. And of course, and if you really want to explore as you're if you're a VR chatter, come check out the Aquarium and Chill. However, I will keep give you a heads up. This is not a cross-platform world. This is uh, single platform only. This is PC only. Anyway, see you around. How do I get out of here?